Hallelujah. Today uh, I am going to talk to you uh, mostly from the life of Jesus Christ. Amen. How many of you ready to hear? Hallelujah. Okay. We can read Luke chapter 2 verse 40. Luke chapter 2 verse 40. Uh, and the child grew and became strong in spirit filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. Amen. Hallelujah. About which child this scripture is talking about? Jesus. 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 Already I told I am going to talk about Jesus. <laughs> Otherwise maybe you may, you may tell that it's John the Baptist, right? Amen. Right. Okay. The Bible says, the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom and the grace of God was upon him. Amen. Hallelujah. Children also can grow strong in spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. That child grew and became strong in spirit. Many times, you know, we do, we do not think about this part about the children's life. Amen. Hallelujah. We, many times we used to say, hey, that child doesn't know anything, right? But the child has a spirit. That spirit has to grow in strength. Amen. Hallelujah. If the child has to grow in spirit, how much you and me needs to grow stronger in spirit? Amen. Hallelujah. How the child can grow stronger in spirit? Amen. Bible did not say how old he was at that time. But if you read a few verses before, Bible says, Mary and Joseph took the baby Jesus to the temple on the eighth day. Then Simeon prophesied over the child. Then Anna, she prophesied over the child. Right? Then Bible says, then they went back to their own place. After that, this verse was mentioned. Amen? Right? That, that means from the childhood days, from the baby itself, that child grew and became strong in spirit. Amen? Every child can grow stronger in spirit from the childhood days. Amen? The spirit can understand. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you notice some child, right? They, they, they will catch up the songs and everything without teaching. Amen. By listening in the church, one time I heard from one child, you know, one baby. That, that child was singing some uh, worship songs. Then the parents told, we never taught the child that song. Then how he, how the child got the song? By sitting and listening in the church. Less than two years. Amen. So they can receive everything in the spiritual man. Hallelujah. Amen. If the child can grow stronger in spirit, it's very important for you and me to grow stronger in our spirit. Amen. Okay, we can read that verse again. Mm, that child, we can read the verse again. Mm. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, mm. filled with wisdom. And filled, grace with, of, filled with wisdom. Mm. And the grace of God was upon him. And the grace of God was upon him. Jesus grew stronger in spirit and filled with wisdom. Amen. That child filled with Wisdom. Now again I want to say, if the child filled with wisdom, how much you and me needs to be filled with the wisdom? Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you agree with me? We need the wisdom. Amen. If you think you have a wisdom, you fail. Amen. We need to be filled with the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Today my message is about the wisdom of God. Amen. Jesus was filled with the wisdom of God. 
Jesus' life was filled with many things. He was filled with grace. He was filled with compassion. He was filled with love. He was filled with boldness. Amen. Our life needs to be filled with all this, with all these good things. Amen. Being empty, it's not the will of God. Being half filled is not the will of God. Amen. That child, in, in the childhood days, the child was filled with wisdom. Amen. Does a child need a wisdom when, when the child was in the baby, babyhood stage? No, right? Because parents are going to take care of everything. The child doesn't need that time. But the Bible says the child was filled with wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Are we filled with the wisdom of God? How is our wisdom today? Amen. Wisdom of God is important in every child of God's life. Hallelujah. If you are a child of God, you need a wisdom of God. Amen. The wisdom of God can help us in several ways. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. Mm. Luke chapter 2, verse 52. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. Uh, and Jesus increased in wisdom and stature. Uh, and in favor with God. And in favor with God, God and men. men. Hallelujah. Not only being filled, Jesus was keep on increasing in the wisdom. Amen. Jesus was the son of man that time. Jesus was the son of God also that time. Amen. He doesn't need to increase in wisdom because he is God. Hallelujah. If but but because he lived in this world, he had to increase in the wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus' life is the role model for every one of us. Hallelujah. If Jesus can increase in the wisdom, you and me need to be increased in the wisdom of God. We need to be filled with the wisdom of God. Amen. If Jesus took a baptism, you and me need to take a baptism. Hallelujah. Many times we are asking, oh, why I need to take a baptism? Simple answer. Jesus took the baptism. Take the baptism. That's it. No more complication. Hallelujah. Many times, you know, we will complicate. Instead of taking the simple answer. Jesus is the role model for us. Hallelujah. In what age Jesus took the baptism? Huh? Around 30. Right? Then you should not say, oh, when my 30 years comes, I will take a baptism. It, it, it says he knew and he took the baptism. Jesus did not take the baptism on the day of 8th day. Right? Remember, 8th day they took, the, took Jesus to the temple. They did all the procedure according to the law. Right? Then they prayed and they came back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus took the baptism later on. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus is the role model for us. The Bible says Jesus was increasing in the wisdom. Amen. How much, of, uh, how, uh, how much you and me need to increase in the wisdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ask your neighbor, do you have wisdom? Do you ask? Do you have? Amen? Tell the neighbor, we need to increase in the wisdom of God. Tell your neighbor, we need to increase in the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Amen. When we filled with the wisdom of God, it will show a difference in our life. Amen. That's why we need to fill with the Wisdom of God. Hallelujah. It will show a great difference. Amen. I, we can read some scriptures from Bible. Luke chapter 2, verse 46, verse 47. What kind of difference it will show in our life? 
Amen. Luke chapter 2 verse 46 and 47. Now so it was after three days mm. they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers. They lost Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They went to Jerusalem for the Passover. Amen. Then the parents went back to Nazareth. In the middle of the way they, they started to search for Jesus because they thought Jesus would be the crowd, the travelers crowd. But Jesus was not there. They lost Jesus. But they were looking for Jesus all the way back to Jerusalem. Third day they reached Jerusalem. Amen. When they came to the temple of God, uh, we can read the verse. They found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of the teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. Hallelujah. Amen. What age? Twelve. When he was twelve, he was sitting among the Pharisees, scribes and everything, priests. He was uh, having a conversation. Amen. With them. Hallelujah. Amen. When I, uh, uh, during my teenage, they used to tell me like this. You should have a friend above your age. It will show your maturity. Amen. If you have a friendship with the people, those are above you, older than you. Amen. Then you will also have a same Maturity, they used to say. Amen. We don't want to have a friendship with the people, those are older than us, right? But Jesus was sitting and talking with all the priests. Amen. He, Jesus asking questions, then Jesus is giving answers. We can read that verse again. Mm. Now, so. It was after three days, mm. they found him in the temple sitting in the midst of the teachers, mm. both listening to them and asking them questions. Mm. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. Amen. Hallelujah. And all who heard him were astonished at his understanding and answers. At the age of twelve, the wisdom started to reveal through his life. Hallelujah. Uh, here the verse says understanding in other a verse it says they are astonished about his knowledge, about his wisdom. Amen. When we have, when we are filled with the wisdom of God, our conversation, our hand, the way of answer, our response to the conversation, it will be completely different. People can see the difference in our conversation. People can see a difference in our words. People can see a difference in our talking. Amen. Hallelujah. That's why we need to be filled with the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. I want to show you uh, some scriptures how Jesus responded to the people. How his answer was. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus dealt with many people. Many different kinds of people. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 20. Verse 19 and 20. Luke chapter 20, verse 19 and 20. Mm. And the chief priests and the scribes mm. that very hour sought to lay hands on him. Mm. But they feared the people, for they knew he had spoken this parable against them. So they watched him and sent spies who pretended to be righteous, that they might seize on his words in order to deliver him to the power and the authority of the governor. Hallelujah. Amen. They sent spies. To catch him. Right? Amen. Hallelujah. They want to spy Jesus. They want to catch him through his word. Then they want to hand over him to, to the governor. Amen. Hallelujah. So they send the people. Who sent these people? Who sent these people? The priest, right? Verse 20, verse I think 19 says, they sent the, the chief priest and the scribes that were very ever sought to lay hands on him. But they feared the people, for they knew he had spoken this parable against them. So they want to catch him. So they, they spent spies. Luke chapter 20, verse 21. 
those people came to Jesus. Mm. Then they were asking him, saying, Teacher, we know that you say and teach rightly, and you do not show personal favoritism, but teach the way of God in truth. Amen. What was their motive? Huh? To catch him, to find fault, to catch him. But what they were talking? Teacher, you are super. There is no one, there is none like you. Amen? Appreciation. Everything appreciation. You are not at all showing favoritism. Amen? You are the man. Amen? Right? Hallelujah. Motive was different. Words are different. Hallelujah. Many times we are dealing with people like this. Something inside is different. Something coming out is different. Oh, you are so beautiful. Inside they say, oh my God. <laughs> right? That's why we should not fall because of the words of appreciation. Hallelujah. Some appreciation, you need to take it inside. Some appreciation, we should know and we say, okay, thank you. Hallelujah. They came to spy Jesus, but their words are different. Amen. Hallelujah. But Jesus was filled with the wisdom of God. That's why he did not give room for all those things. Amen. See how Jesus handled this people next to us. Hmm. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or hmm. not? Amen. Yeah, they asked Jesus one question. Is it lawful for us to pay taxes to Caesar or not? Because their purpose was catch him, arrest him and hand over to the governor. Hallelujah. So they are taking the topic related to tax. If Jesus says, we don't need to pay tax, immediately they can hand over Jesus to the governor. Governor, he said, we are not supposed to pay tax. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes people will throw different questions to you to know your heart, to know your opinion. Amen. Many times, you know, we, we think, oh, we are, I am very smart. That's why they are asking the question about tax. He started to say, blah, 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 oh, you need to do this, that, that. That person knows everything. They want to test you. Finally, they will come to you, oh, how much tax you are paying? They will know your salary. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? yeah. Hallelujah. Motive was different, words are different. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why we should not answer for so many questions. Yes? That is wisdom of God. Amen? One time Pilate asked, Are you the king of Ju uh, Judah? He said, Yes. Again he was asking a question. That time Jesus did not open his mouth. Pilate was frustrated and said, I am asking many times, you are not at all talking. Right? That is the wisdom of God. Amen. I am asking the Lord to give me that wisdom. Hallelujah. Because I was a teacher, I used to answer the students. Right? Nowadays also I am doing that, but I am not supposed to do it. Right? That's why I am praying, Lord, help me to be quiet, not answering many questions. Amen. How many of you agree with me? Not only for me, you should also not answer for everything. Amen. Listen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. I can tell many things. We can read ne next. They ask the question. Hmm. But he perceived their craftiness and said to them. But he perceived their craftiness. Hallelujah. And said to them, why do you? Test me. That is Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. He knew this question is not a genuine question. Their heart is not genuine. 
something they have in their heart they are talking something else he was able to identify the craftiness of the question craftiness of the people amen hallelujah if we have the wisdom of god we can also have that grace we can also have the knowledge and wisdom we can also have the same revelation we will know is it genuine question or some something craftiness cunningness amen many times we are not filled with the wisdom of god that's why we are not able to recognize what kind of question that is because we do not know what kind of question we are giving lot of answer for the question unappropriate answers right hallelujah amen have you ever noticed sometimes you know if they ask a yes or no question we will give yes a answer answer the yes is yes, right ha huh? amen hallelujah with in with one question that person will collect all your information because we do not know whether the question is genuine or craftiness for genuine question you can answer amen in some places jesus answered when samaritan woman asked i know when the messiah comes he will tell all these things immediately jesus told her i am the one you are talking to messiah see the answer right because her her, her heart was genuine jesus answered hallelujah how many of you with me do you need this message or no i will bless you and i will multiply you amen it will come hallelujah if you are filled with the wisdom of god automatically blessings will come because we are not filled with the wisdom we are losing the blessing what we receive then why why he has to give more blessing to you you have no wisdom why i need to give you blessing if i give the blessing also you do not know how to hold it through your words you are spoiling your blessing right king ezekiah took the people and showed everything amen the lord blessed him with all the gold and silver everything but he did not have a wisdom to whom i need to show what i need to show he took and he showed everything immediately prophet came who came to you oh so and so came when what do you need did you show everything yes i did then prophet said you will lose everything because you are not having a wisdom amen hallelujah many times we have a pride we want to show everything because we are not filled with wisdom we are filled with pride we want to show we want to show that i am having everything amen but this evening the lord expect us to have the wisdom of god hallelujah what we need to talk when we need to talk when we need to be quiet what we need to show what we should not so show amen then you can hold your blessings because as i said did not have that wisdom he lost it amen so what we need today is the wisdom of god amen we can read jesus knew the craftiness of the people mm. show me a denarius whose image inscription does it have amen they answered and said caesar's show me a denarius whose image and inscription does it have mm. they answered the answer and said okay caesar okay was uh, we can read was 22 again 22 again is it lawful for us to pay taxes to caesar or Amen. not they were asking jesus tell us tell us is it lawful to pay taxes to caesar or not they asked jesus to tell but what jesus asked them show me amen they ask tell us jesus said show me hallelujah did how jesus responded to their question 
Amen. Instead of telling something, Jesus wants to show them something. Do you understand? Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes, you know, when, 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 when they asked him to tell, he said, no, I want to show you something. Amen. That's the way we should do it with the crafty people. Amen. If they ask you to tell, you say you need to say, I want to show you something. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. He showed the coin. Uh, we can read the verse now again. Mm. And he said to them, show me a denarius whose image and inscription does it have. They answered and said Caesar's. And he said to them, render therefore to Caesar things that are Caesar's and to God the things that are God's. Amen. See how Jesus happened. Jesus asked them to show me a coin. They showed the coin, it says Caesar's name, it, Caesar's name is on it. Then Jesus told them, this is Caesar's, so give it to Caesar. Whatever belongs to God, give it to God. Amen. How easy he sought out the problem. Amen. These all will come through the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you and me were in that place, what we would have? I think we need to pay tax to Caesar. Right? We will confuse ourselves. We will confuse others. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus handled this type of people the right way because he was filled with wisdom. Amen. We can read the next verse. Mm. But they could not catch him in his words in the presence of the people, and they marveled at his answer and kept silent. Hallelujah. Amen. They marveled. Hallelujah. The people those came to arrest him through his word. Catch him through his word. Now they marvel through the same word. Amen. Hallelujah. Because his life was filled with the wisdom of God. If your life is filled with the filled with the wisdom of God, no one can catch you through your words. Amen. Every snare will turn into blessing. Hallelujah. You can identify. Hallelujah. We can read the next verse. Uh, 2027. Other group of people now. Mm. Then some of the Sadducees who deny that there is no resurrection came to him and asked him. Because these people, they, they do not believe in resurrection. Amen. Now they came to the scene, they were asking Jesus the question. Now we can read a uh, few verses, we can read it in it. Mm. Saying, Teacher, mm. Moses wrote to us that if a man's brother dies, mm. having a wife, and he dies without children, mm. his brother should take his wife and raise an offering for his brother. Now there were seven brothers, and the first took a wife and died without children. Mm. And the second took her as a wife, and he died childless. Then the third took her, and in like manner the seven also. And they left no children and died. Mm. Last of all, the woman also died. Mm. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife does she become? For all seven had her as wife. They thought they are asking Jesus in the very smart way. Right? They are giving a scenario to Jesus. Amen? Hallelujah. We are also dealing with Jesus like this sometimes. We will give scenarios to Jesus. Amen? He is the originator of every scenario. But we will give a scenario. Jesus, what you will do if it is like this, if it is like that? Amen. See how Jesus handled these people. Jesus had to handle many people like you and me. Crafty people. Right? Hallelujah. Smart people. Amen. We can read uh, the, the response from Jesus. We can go to 37, 38. Mm. We do not have a time. Okay, but even, but even Moses showed him in the burning bush passage. Mm. The now armies. Jesus is giving back answer to them through the scriptures. Amen. They were talking from Moses, right? They used Moses. Father, uh, sorry, teacher, 
Moses is saying like this. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus used the same Moses to give them answer. Amen. Jesus did not give his personal opinion. Jesus gave them the answer from the scriptures. Amen. Many times we need to handle people through scriptures. Hallelujah. Amen. If someone comes with comes to you to ask some question from the scripture, you should give answer back to them from the scriptures. When you can do all these things, when you are filled with the wisdom of God, you, you, you know how to answer back through scriptures. The spirit of the Lord will remind you immediately, hey, give this answer like this. Amen. From the scripture, you can give the answer like this. Hallelujah. Amen. Many times, we do not know how to answer from the scriptures. But Jesus told, Moses showed in the burning bush passage that the dead are raised when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. Uh, you can read the next verse. Mm. For he is not the God of the dead but of the living. For all live to him. Amen. For he is not the God of the dead but of the living. For all live to him. Jesus gave answer. There is a resurrection. Amen. Hallelujah. They did they did not believe in resurrection, but Jesus said, resurrection is there. Through Moses, he said, Moses called God, God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. That means he's not God of death, he's God of living. Amen. We can read the next verse. Hmm. Then some of the scribes answered and said, Teacher, you have spoken well. Because this group against the Sadducee group. Amen. Now this group are happy. Politics. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Because Jesus gave a nice answer to the other group. So this group now, they are happy. Who are this group? Scribes. The same group sent the spies to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. But now the same group calling Jesus, teacher, you have spoken well, hallelujah. Amen. Some people will enjoy when someone is getting nicely. Amen. This is the type of people we live. We live in Yemen. We are also part of this group. Amen. Super pastor. <laughs> Sorry, not pastor. Super teacher. You gave nicely. Amen. Hallelujah. We can read the next verse. Mm. But after that, they dare not ask a question to him anymore. No more question. If you are asking about the tax, he is giving answer. If you are talking about resurrection, he is giving answer. Amen. Economic question, filled with wisdom. Theological question, filled with wisdom. Spiritual question, filled with wisdom. Amen. See the life of Jesus Christ. He is our role model. We need to be filled with wisdom. And we need to be very brilliant in all the areas. That is the will of God. We should not be a, a people, those who are operating our life without wisdom. Amen. If you are not having a wisdom, we cannot handle all these areas. Amen. That's why we need to be filled with the wisdom. Hallelujah. I want to show you some more scriptures. Amen. Hallelujah. If you are filled with the wisdom of God, it will tell us what we need to do. Not only it will tell us how we need to respond, but it will tell us what we need to do. If we have a wisdom of God, we will know what I need to do this time. Why God has called me? What is the purpose of God in my life? Amen. Luke chapter 2, verse 48 and 49. Come back to Luke chapter 2, 48, 49. So when they saw him, they were amazed. The parents, parents of Jesus, like a Mary and Joseph, came to the temple. They saw him. Then they asked him this question. When they saw him, they were amazed. And his mother said to him, Son, hmm, 
Son, why have you done this to us? Look, your father and I have sought you anxiously. Son, we couldn't see you for the past three days. We were very much worried about you. Amen. Why you have done this to us? Amen. Why you stayed here? Amen. I do not know. There are all the three days where Jesus stayed. Right? Twelve years old. Amen. Maybe he stayed in the... I do not know. Right? Maybe he stayed in the street as a homeless. Maybe he stayed in the, the temple. We do not know. But all these three days, the 12 years old boy was staying there without his parents. So the parents worried. It's a genuine worriness. They asked why you have done this. Uh, next verse. And he said to them, why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Yeah, man. Why do you why did you seek me? Did you not know that I must be about my father's business? Amen. Yeah, Twelve years old boy knew that he has to be supposed he has supposed to be in the father's business, but the mother and father above must be above thirty years, right? Yes, sir. Rough calculation. Right? If Mary gave a birth at 18 years, 18 plus 12, 30. If Mary is 30, Joseph is 32. Math teacher. Okay. 12 years boy knew he has to be in the father's business. But the adult, about 30 years, they did not know the purpose of Jesus Christ. He, Jesus knew very well. He has to be in the father's business because his life was filled with the wisdom of God when he was 12 years old. Hallelujah. Do you know you need to be in the father's business? Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus was asking the parents, why you search for me? Did you not know that I need to be in the father's business? Do you know where you need to be? Do you know what you need to do for this time? The 12 years old child knew what he had to do that time. Because that child was filled with the wisdom of God. If you are filled with the wisdom of God, you also know what you need to do now. You will know you are called to do father's business. Amen? You will be in the right place to do father's business. You are called to do father's business. Jesus was called to do father's business. He knew it at 12 years old. Here there is no one in 12 years old, right? Amen? Everybody is about 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Amen? Hallelujah! Do you know where you need to be? Do you know what you need to do for this time? Do you know what is your father's business? Hallelujah! By this time, we, every one of us should know what I need to do for this time. What is my father's business? If you do not know, that means somewhere you are lacking. If you do not know, you are not filled with the wisdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe some of you thinking, and when he will finish this. Amen. I want to say, this is my father's business. I am doing my father's business from here. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. My father will ask me, did you do my business well? Amen. Your father will one day come and ask you, did you do my business? Hallelujah. The world may say, for you, you are not supposed to be here because you are only 12 years old. Why you are here? The world may say, why you are going there, why you are going here? 
You need to say, this is my father's business for this purpose only God has called me. Amen? Can you say boldly, this is my father's business? Amen? If you are filled with the wisdom of God, you will have the same divine boldness to tell the world, hey, this is my father's business. I know what I am doing. I know where I am. Amen? Jesus was very clear to give this answer to his parents. Amen? Hallelujah? Do you know for this time what you need to do? Where you need to be? Amen? Hallelujah? Amen? Have you ever noticed some children, even they are 12 years 13, they will always be with the mom and dad. Amen? Hallelujah. The mom and dad also will spoil the child, spoil the children. Oh, you are my baby, 24 years, you are still my baby. You need to tell, hey, do you know what is your father's business? Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Yes or no? Amen? We need to encourage our children. We need to teach our children. We need to tell our children, you need to be filled with the wisdom of God. You need to grow in the spirit. You need to grow stronger in the spirit. Amen? Release your children for your father's business. Your father, heavenly father will take care of your children. Amen? Hallelujah. The three days, the 12 year boy was well protected. Yes or no? Because that 12 year boy was in the father's business. If you are doing your father's business, you will have a well protection. Amen? Father will protect you. Hallelujah! Because you are in father's business, heavenly father will protect you. Amen? But we need to know what I need to do now. Where I need to be. Jesus knew very well. Because his life was filled with the wisdom of God. That's why the Lord wants us to be filled with the wisdom of God so that we can also do the Father's business at the right time, at the right place. That is important. Amen? When we do Father's business, we should do it at the right time, at the right place. We should not miss the mark. Amen? You may think, oh, I am still small, I am not matured, I am not grown up. You know, there is long... Oh, I can wait after 40 years, 30 years. Do you have a assurance that you will live here up to 40? <laughs> Who told you you will live here up to 40 years old? How can you say after 40, after 65, I will do my father's business. Father will say return. Amen? Missing the timing, missing the mark. Jesus did not miss anything because his life was filled with this drama. We are giving excuse. That means we are hesitating to do the Father's business. We are not filled with the wisdom of God. We are filled with the worldly wisdom. The world will tell you the different thing. Amen? The world will tell you you are not supposed to be here because you are only 12 years old. Amen? But the wisdom of God will tell, I am in the Father's business. This is my time. This is my, my place. Amen. Hallelujah. We can read Luke chapter 12, 13, 14. Luke chapter 12, 13, 14. Okay, we do not have much time, but I have two more pages. Then one, not one, then one from the crowd said then to him. Then one from the crowd said to him, Teacher, Teacher, tell my brother, tell to, my divide brother to divide the inheritance with me. Hmm. Next verse. Uh, the, but the, the one, one person came and teacher, divide the property. Amen. Hallelujah. Like a mediator. Like a broker business. Amen. Correct. Yes or no? Like a escrow business. The escrow company will be a mediating company, right? Between the two people, right? Amen. Or we can say Panjayat. Hmm? Amen. Teacher, 
then one teacher tell my brother to divide the inheritance with me uh, verse 14 but, but he said to him man who made me a judge or an arbitrator over you amen hallelujah if somebody comes to you and ask you to divide that property between what you will think how you will think that oh my god right? hey they are respecting me they are asking me to divide that property you know how much property they have billion property they they i need to do divide right hallelujah amen your call is greater than this call amen jesus knew hallelujah that's why jesus said, hey who made me as a judge my business is as a judge and the king of kings amen jesus life was filled with the wisdom of god that's why he can say no to this business amen hallelujah we can read the verse luke chapter 10 verse 22 when jesus told like this what was his position at that time jesus luke chapter 10 verse 22 mm. all things have been delivered to me by all my father all things have been delivered to me by my father amen father gave all the authority to jesus if jesus wanted to divide the property between two brothers he he can do it amen because father gave all the authority to him if he wants to be a judge he can be a judge amen but he knew the priority hallelujah Amen. More than be a judge, I want to be a teacher to teach my children about the truth of God. Amen. Hallelujah. One time, uh, you know, uh, somebody asked uh, the evangelist Billy Graham to contest for president election. You know what he told? I don't want to de-promote myself. Amen. Hallelujah. He knew very well for what God has called him. Amen. Hallelujah. Good offer will come. Opportunities will come. You should know what to choose. Amen. When you are filled with the wisdom of God, you will know I am not called to be a judge. Hallelujah. Because we are not having a wisdom of God, we will put our head and nose everywhere. If somebody called you to divide the property, go in there. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I went there to make a peace. You will become peace, peace. Amen. Where you need to be? What you need to do? Amen. Do you know the timing? Hallelujah. Even Luke chapter, uh, sorry, John chapter 7, I am going to finish. There are still more, more things, but I am going to finish with this. John chapter 7, verse 2 to 4. Mm. Now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at mm. hand. Mm. His brothers therefore said to him, Depart from here and go into Judea, that your disciples also may see the works that you are doing. For no one does anything in secret while he himself seeks to be known openly. Mm. If you do these things, Show yourself to the world, for even his brothers did not believe in him. Amen. Okay, so 2 to 4 says that the brothers gave a good advice to Jesus, right? They told, We oh, are doing secretly all these things. If you go and do all these uh, miracles in the, in the public, so that you will get some name. Amen. When you get a name, you will get a fame. When you get a fame, you will get a money. Amen. Hallelujah. They gave a good idea to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. They told, go and perform all these works in the public where many people gather because of the festival. See the response from Jesus, 6 to 8. Mm. Then Jesus said to them, my Jesus time, said to them, my, my time has not come yet come. Mm. But your time is always ready. Mm. The world cannot hate you, but it hates me because I testify of it that its works are evil. 
you yeah, will go up to this feast i am not yet going up to this feast for my time has not yet fully come yeah man hallelujah they told go yeah man the worldly wisdom will tell you do all this in public but the heavenly wisdom will tell you this is not the right time hallelujah yeah man if you are filled with the wisdom of god we can overcome the worldly wisdom we will not yield to the worldly wisdom yeah man the world will tell you different things yeah man hallelujah the world will tell you ah, you can work and do ministry part time is good you know full if you go full time who will pay you it's a worldly wisdom Yeah man the heavenly wisdom will tell you one who call me is faithful he will take care of me yeah man hallelujah the worldly will worldly wisdom will tell you this is not the appropriate time to do all these things but the heavenly wisdom will tell you which is right time jesus was operated with the world not with the heavenly wisdom am i not with the worldly wisdom hallelujah his own family did not understand him because they they did not believe him in the earlier stage they told him go do perform amen they thought miracle is to show forth his power and earn name through it they thought like that but jesus told i am in my father's business my time has not come yeah, we can read verse four, uh, 14 hmm. now about the middle of the feast jesus went up but jesus to the went temple. to the uh, the festival not in that time when the brothers were there he went to that festival at the right time amen yeah, middle of the festival jesus went uh, went up into the temple and taught taught amen yeah, now you can read the verse 3 again mm. his brother therefore said to him depart from here and go into judea that his disciples also may see the works that they you told, are doing they told jesus go and do the works but what jesus did jesus went and taught hallelujah if you if you are filled with the wisdom of god you will not yield to the worldly voice you know what to do jesus knew this is the time to teach not to perform a miracle there is time for everything jesus did many miracles but jesus knew when to do a miracle when to teach hallelujah amen this is the time to teach the truth Jesus taught them what they need to know hallelujah but he did a miracles many places to the needy people heaven he knew very well this is the time i need to teach if you are filled with the wisdom of god you will know when to do what to do how to do everything we will not change the things we will align with the will of god we will align with the heart of god amen hallelujah if you read um 715 mm. and the jews marveled saying how does this man know let us having never studied hallelujah education it's good for us but education cannot give this wisdom education can give us the worldly wisdom education give us the different wisdom to survive in this world but to handle with all these things we need the wisdom of god jesus did not have a proper education but he had the wisdom of god bible says in james this wisdom will come from above amen you may be a you, you may be well educated person doesn't mean you will have all this wisdom 
heaven. You may not have any proper education, but still you can have this wisdom. Heaven. That's why they marveled. Hey, this man did not study. Hallelujah. I'm not against education. We, everyone needs education. Our children need education. Right? But at the same time, we should not depend on our education to have this wisdom. This wisdom will come from above. If you call upon him, he will fill you with this wisdom. Amen? If you look upon him, he will give you the wisdom. Amen? That's why I told you, you know, Jesus had a wisdom. He, he gave an answer for the economic question, tax question, right? Amen? And also for the theological question, everything he had answered. Hallelujah. Amen. Bible says, when Moses laid his hand upon Joshua, he was filled with the spirit of wisdom. Amen. But if you see the life of Joshua, he had an encounter with God. God only ordained him. He heard the voice of God. He had everything. But then Moses realized, hey, Joshua, this is not enough. You need to have a spirit of wisdom. Amen. Moses did not ask Joshua to go to any school. Moses told Joshua, come, I will pray for you. You will receive the spirit of wisdom. Because I am going to ask my father, he will give you spirit of wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. When the disciples chose seven people to take care of the table, what they did? They had an interview. The candidate needs to be filled with PhD, right? Yes or no? I am not against PhD. Amen? If anyone has PhD, forgive me. I love you. Amen? Thank God for the PhD. But the qualification is you need to be filled with the spirit, wisdom and faith. And also you need to be blameless. Right? Hallelujah. What they did, they chose seven people. They laid their hands upon them. They prayed. Then the Bible says they were filled with wisdom, spirit, faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. If the disciples can lay their hands upon someone, if they receive the wisdom, if the if they can receive like that, when the Lord touches you with this hand, definitely you will be filled with a spirit of wisdom. Amen. The key is, we need to look upon God for the wisdom of God. Amen. Bible says in many places, the disciples, not the disciples, many people, they came against Jesus. But every time when they come against Jesus, Jesus went alone to pray. Amen. Hallelujah. To receive the wisdom from above. In one time Jesus told, you know, uh, I am not doing anything on my own. I am not talking anything on my own. I am not teaching anything on my own. Whatever my father gives, I am doing. That means Jesus said, this wisdom came from above. Hallelujah. The Lord one who filled Jesus with the spirit of wisdom is here to fill us also with the spirit of wisdom. How many of you need the spirit of wisdom?